We are super excited right now because it appears as though Blue, our female rhino iguana, dug a nest in the ground, in their outdoor pen, and laid eggs. How do I know this? Well, she went through all the nesting behavior and she looks completely deflated. She's also covered in the massive hole that she dug and she seems to be guarding it. So we have to get the eggs out of there because they will never hatch alone outside here in New Jersey. So I've got some of her favorite food, hibiscus flowers. We're gonna try to safely remove these eggs and get them into uh, incubation. Here we go. Blue seems to be guarding her nest right now. Um, just gonna try to distract her with some of these hibiscus flowers and hopefully I don't have to remove her from here while I do this. She is bobbing her head though, so I don't know, we'll see. Hey Blue. Easy girl. So she wants Rocky out of the picture. All right, so I'm gonna call our friends over at Arizona Tortoise Compound um, because they're a little bit more well-versed in how to do this than me. Yo! Our female rhino iguana just laid eggs and we need a little advice because she's guarding the nest. Uh, she's attacking the male and going after me. So is this something where I need to get her out of there without getting bit and then try to get the eggs? Uh -huh. use it as a shield. <laughs> oh, shield, okay. Yeah, and sometimes she'll have me do that while she collects off the eggs. All else fails, you can always go in there with a Rubbermaid container and just set it on top of it. Okay. And have Casey sit on the container while you're digging the eggs. Okay. Take it out. <laughs> all right, okay, all right, we're going to go for it. We're going to try to figure out how to uh, keep her away from us while we do this. I just wanted to make sure I was reading this behavior right. Definitely difficult. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. I will. Uh, I'll call you back. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Bye. So we do. We have got to figure out a way to block or contain Blue so that we can get these eggs out. This is normal behavior. She's defending her nest. Um, it's wonderful. She's being a mom to a certain extent, but they only care about the nest right now. Like she, she doesn't care about her young. You know, once they hatch. So as harsh as that may sound to you, it's just like a turtle. You know, they make sure the eggs are safe. But then after that they want nothing to do with it, or they're just not programmed to want anything to do with it. So um, that's what we have to do. In order for these eggs to actually have a shot at hatching, we've got to get Blue contained so that we can dig these eggs up. And I, you know, I wasn't sure about this at first because Blue is such a puppy. She's such a sweetheart. So to see her act like this is totally new for us. But uh, here we go. <laughs> This is the nesting chamber right here, and um, I wasn't able to get too much footage of it, but when I came out before she finished, you could really just see her head out. She's a big lizard, so I have a feeling this is pretty deep. And we don't have much time. It's very hot out, it's 97 degrees today, and I don't want Blue to be in this uh, container for long, but like I said, we gotta get these eggs out of here. So this is a, a group effort right now. Here's the chamber. <laughs> I feel them. 
it's actually really easy to dig. It's really easy. Dinosaur oh. eggs, guys. Some more eggs. Two. And a calcium. Three. No, and four. Five. four five six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. I think there's more I think we got there. eleven. I think that's it. I'm all the way down the chamber. Wow. Look at the size of them. Eleven eggs from Blue the Rhino Iguana. <laughs> So Blue guarded her nest for a little while, but she seems to have uh, calmed down now, which is normal. And she's getting back to being her good old self, getting along with her partner Rocky. And we're just uh, fattening her back up. You can see she's already filling out a little bit more, but those eggs are huge. And they're safely upstairs in incubation. And I'm gonna show you guys something really, really cool about rhinoceros iguana eggs, which really uh, contrasts what we go through with turtle and tortoise eggs. So we're upstairs in our incubation room. I gotta make this quick because the eggs are exposed because we're gonna check on them. They're in a sim container, which means they are in suspended incubation medium, which means they're not coming in contact with the actual medium. It's underneath this container that has holes in it and it's just vermiculite to water. One to one ratio by weight, 80% humidity and they're being incubated at between 86 and 88 degrees. So let's go ahead and check them. Okay, so it's been several days and you can see right there that is the developing embryo but what's really interesting about iguana eggs which contrasts turtle and tortoise eggs is the minute they're laid you can tell if they're fertile what you're looking at here is a photo that was taken just a couple hours after the eggs were taken out of blue's nest and put into incubation so you can see right there where i'm candling it that there's already development present with a turtle or tortoise egg you don't get that you have to wait sometimes more than a week for the egg to start chalking over and then after that you'll see embryonic development with veins so we're going to go ahead and close up this incubator now so the eggs are nice and humid and safe and hopefully at between 80 and 100 days from now we will be showing you guys brand new baby rhinoceros iguanas Thank you.